Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. I hope that you like it here and you enjoy these videos that I create. I don't know if you can see that, but the light is flickering. Not now. Stop it. <laughs> uh, in this video, I wanted to, because I haven't done a hair tutorial in a while, uh, and I'm trying to kind of incorporate doing, you know, beauty stuff, but also doing like talk through and personal stuff, kind of videos and personality type videos and stuff like that and kind of mix it together. Um, yeah. So hopefully it all goes well and you guys like um, the contrast of videos that I create. So look at this sweater, isn't it cute? I found it at Goodwill and it reminded me so much of these uh, 1960 type sweaters and I love it. I was so happy when I found this. So today I did like a 1960s-esque makeup look that I thought was really pretty. Um, some darker brown in the crease area and then brown eyeliner. A very slight wing, a little bit of mascara, some pinky blush contour, and a nude-ish lip because in the 60s that's when they started getting the more nude um, lipsticks and stuff like that. So yeah, it's been a while since I have done a video. Oh, and I redid my hair a little bit more red because it was obviously a hat. Well, what actually happened was that I went to dye my hair like a dark black cherry color and it, because it was blonde prior to that, it actually turned out more like a dark red. Um, and it faded a lot in the last two months or so. So I colored it again and it's a lot more of a vibrant, red which I am in love with <laughs> and yeah so what I've been loving to do with my hair lately is kind of like a 60s bob curled under with volume and it's kind of like a mom hairstyle I'm not a mom but yeah I just thought that it's kind of pretty so what we're going to do is first start by not curling or we're not going to be curling it up to here we're just going to take in about a couple inch section here and then i'm going to take the bottom from about here and curl this under like so with a straightener with a curling iron whatever you really want to do and i just kind of twist it under if you could see that like i take the straightener and I just twist under. You don't want to like hold it too tight on your hair and try to twist it. You don't want to break off your hair. Um, I'll show you again here. So I've got different layers in my hair because I'm still trying to grow out that asymmetrical pixie that I had. Um, so there's different lengths in my hair. So I go about midway down and curl under just like that just so that you have a little cutie curl there and I'm just going to keep doing this all the way down in like two inch sections of my hair because I do have you know thicker hair so I've got a lot of hair to get through you can obviously probably do thicker sections but I just want to make sure that it is done well I'm going to take this section, which is a lot, a little bit thicker. 
and curl it under right at the bottom. I look a lot, or <laughs> I love Pinterest, so I look a lot at the um, 1950s, 1960s, like curl pin sets, and I try to figure out how I can do that in a more modern fashion because I don't really like to sleep in curlers and stuff like they did back then. So I look at the curlways, um, old vintage ones, and they can show like the directions of the curls and stuff, and I just basically curl my hair in those directions. But with a strainer or a curling iron instead of curlers. So I'm going to do that to the other side and basically just curl it all under. And as you can see, this side of my hair is a little shorter because this is where I had the shorter side of my asymmetrical pixie. All right. Oh, I forgot to highlight from my makeup. <laughs> I think I might do that actually really quick. So this doesn't take long to do to your hair if you're just like all curling it under. And I thought that this would be a quick and easy vintage -y hair tutorial for you guys. And then I take my bangs that are like straight across bangs, but most of the time I push them off to the side or I curl them off to the side. Sometimes I feel, I love like straight bangs, but sometimes I feel like, like straight across bangs. But sometimes they can make my face look more round or more square, more wide, I guess. I got an interesting compliment on Valentine's Day, uh, my husband and I went out to eat and the waitress was like, I love your eyebrows. That was interesting. I mean, it was sweet, but it was interesting to get complimented on your brows. I'm so, and I feel like I'm really awkward too when I get compliments, I don't really know what to say. All right, so now that we have it pretty much all curled under here, it's cute, cute, cute. You could even leave it like this, which is still pretty cute and actually reminds me of like the 20 or 30s, but we're going to brush it out. So I just have a regular brush and I'm going to brush it out here and then we're going to do a little bit of teasing. I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of curve it in towards my face as you can see here and make that those curls under, curls that we were having go under kind of come together. Whoop. Curled into my eye. All right, so now I'm gonna take little inch sections and tease it right at the root. You know what I was just thinking? But this sweater actually reminds me also of the purple sweater that Marilyn Monroe wore in my general, I think it's gentlemen prefer blonde or something like that. 
Maybe not. Or the seven year itch, I don't know. One of them. And she had like this purple sweater that she was rehearsing in. And this kind of reminds me of that sweater. And make sure when you're teasing to, you know, really get it down at the roots. Don't just go like, tee, 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 and then hope it's going to stay all day because it don't work like that. You got to really get it down in your roots. <laughs> so you get a really pretty hairstyle like this going on right now. And then I do some teasing to the bottom. I don't like to create too crazy amount of volume down here, so I don't tease it quite as much down here. Now, if you have a skinnier face, I feel like that would look good on you. But for a more wider face like mine, the more volume that I have up here, the more it elongates my face and it's a little bit more appealing. Versus if you have a skinnier face, the more volume you're gonna want out here instead of here. And yeah, so exciting, I know. I keep wanting to, or thinking like, oh, I'm going to give up vintage. And then as soon as I think that, I'm like, I miss it already. I don't know if I can give it up. I'll just do it, maybe. So cute. Okay, so now I'm going to go towards the back of my hair and do it in little sections like that too. Alrighty. <laughs> so now we want to make sure that we're not going to be completely brushing out the tees that we did. So be gentle and smooth with your brushing out. So I like to go kind of towards the root of my hair and just lightly smooth over. Because then you keep that volume that you created the back here and there's probably going to be sections that you'll need to fix or tease more it's coming together so cute all right so i'm going to tease a little bit more right here And I feel like because for me, I don't like to use hairspray too much because I get eczema on the back of my neck and stuff and like it goes up into my hairline and so hairspray can irritate that. So if you do your teasing well, you won't have to worry about spraying your hair down with 10,000 gallons of hairspray. So again, I'm taking the curls and kind of trying to brush them together to create that bob look. I think I'm going to tease right here just a little bit more. And you want to make sure your tease sections come together and it's um, 
I don't know what the proper word is for it, but yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I just do a tad bit of teasing because we have all that volume, but I want a little bit of volume here in my bangs. And I don't really do it perfectly or too rough. I'm do it right here as well. And then you get that cute little volume. And here is the finished easy hairstyle that looks like it might take a little bit of high maintenance to create this, but it doesn't. I mean, depends on what you consider high maintenance, but I've done a lot, a lot more high maintenance of hairstyles than this one, so. Yeah, it's really cute. I love it. And even this hairstyle actually kind of reminds me of um, the hairstyle that Marilyn Monroe wore, wore when she had on that purple sweater in, I, gosh, I don't remember if it's Seven Year Itch or gen Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. It's one or the other, but this kind of reminds me of that hairstyle too. Yeah, I feel very 60s and I'm so cute. All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you have fun trying to recreate a 1960s look. I feel like a lot of this stuff should be brought back in modern times because it's cute and it always just looks well put together in the end. And you can incorporate little things, like if you don't want like full vintage or anything like that, you can incorporate little things from the 60s that look so cute. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this and to subscribe for more great videos.